Joanna. Yes. How are you today? I'm good. It's very warm here today. It's very exciting time. Yes. Because your property is going on the market. It is. So what was so special about <laughs> this property? <laughs> well, the view is very nice. The view. Yes. Here we go. The view of Rib Mountain. You don't have this kind of view anywhere else. I know that as a fact. Yeah. It's hard to find. Yeah. The best thing about the property, though, is just the absolute privacy. Because you don't privacy. You don't see any neighbors. Amazing barns. Well, this particular garage has in-floor heat, so it runs on electric, but it's um, it's, the slab is heated. Mm -hmm. So, and you have a big business going on. Yes, we are uh, a hemp processor and grower. So we grew a big field last year, out, right out there. It's organically grown, yes, but not certified. There's so many that. differences, right? How yeah, people I mean, we use that use, labeling. We use no pesticides. Uh, we did use some organic fertilizer. Um, but yeah, pretty much all natural. And all the processing that we do is all natural, all food grade. This is a CO2 extraction machine. And what it basically does is it runs CO2 through the dried hemp product, pulls out the CBD and dumps it into that second contam can canister and then dumps the CO2 back into the freezer. And this is a hot... This is the hot side and then it goes to the cold side in the freezer. CBD is good for anxiety, inflammation, aches and pains, joint pain, any chronic type pains if you have chronic headaches. Like back pain or something um, like that. Anxiety helps people sleep. Yes, the, half of yes. the America is anxious. I mean, we need to... Uh, I think more than half. <laughs> more than half. We need, to, we need to do something for anxiety, right? Yes. And this so is the have, product. We have capsules and lotions and oils. Bagahemp.com. Bagahemp.com. Here, here is the website. And that's where you get the product. And, and, and you also, ship worldwide. We do. And also in Wausau, location on third, uh, First Avenue. Yeah, these are the barrels that we store the hemp in. Um, and it is kept at 62% humidity so that it stays really nice and fresh. Oh, it smells good, I yeah. can tell. Yep, see, we have these packets in to keep it fresh. Ooh. It's nice and sticky. Ooh, very good smell. It's my roasting oven. Roast it to release the CBD. You have five acres. Yes. And where do you grow it? Um, in the, where you see all the white flowers out there. That was all hemp field last year. Are you going to plant yet again? No, too late now. This it is late be, in the season. It has to kind of go in by first week of June. Rocky, good friend of mine, he <laughs> likes, he doesn't know that he's a dog. He thinks he's a bear. He does. He does. Yes, and he also likes when somebody is touching his ears, right? <laughs> I have uh, 10 chickens right now. Yes, and guinea hens, about, right? About yeah. Eating bugs. So we put these big metal doors on when we had the roofs redone. I like that. Um, they had uh, old wood doors. The equipment is obviously not for sale. Um, That's actually, an extra. The equipment will be in the will it be. Will be not, it's not, it doesn't come with the property, but it will be for sale. The, the commercial grade mower, mm -hmm. uh, zero turn, and uh, a Kubota tractor with three implements. We did one bay, and when this other side is ready, these where the equipment is. Those two bays are ready. All the uh, the ground is already prepped and has the gravel. Mm -hmm. So you just need to have to you know come in and pour the mm -hmm. concrete. And also new roof here, steel roof. Yes. You probably never need to think about another roof for at least next twenty years. Yeah, maybe thirty. Maybe thirty. It's a big space. Um, we put new windows in, and so they have screens, and we get some cross ventilation, some mm -hmm. nice air up here. Um, we use these tables for grow tables to plant our seedlings, but you know, they're, it's, it's open to whatever somebody might want to do. Great place for dogs too. It is. They get to run. Dear animal lovers, this is the place for you. If you like animals or simply if you like humans too, <laughs> still a good place for both, right? <laughs> Who is this one? That's Mojo. Mojo? She's a little old lady. Oh, how old are you, Mojo? 13. Oh, you're a little shy. <laughs> I love the pellet stove and I work from home. So one of my favorite things to do in the winter time is sit right here at the dining room table with my laptop and have a nice little fire going and, you know. And work, internet work is good here, right? Fast internet. Internet is really good here. We did have some problems uh, originally but um, they, it's Frontier and it's hardwired in. I have a router and everything by the TV. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have really any problems anymore. 
And uh, the other nice, really nice feature about this house is it's got natural gas. Yes, so, so you don't need a propane tank. tank. Yep, it's got real gas, and then of course we have uh, septic. Septic so no main. City water, but main floor laundry, full bathroom here. So the good news about this house is there is plenty of bathrooms. Yes, and large. Yes, bathrooms. you have full bathrooms on every floor. Yes, and they're not. Um, they're not. Tight. Nice and and then there is also a half bath, I believe, right? Laundry room. Yes, yeah. laundry room. Okay, this a was a little lift. tricky. Yeah. Okay. Anti dog, anti human uh, barrier, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you completely don't need here any air conditioning. I know it because you are in the nature. This house is built in a such way that you don't need air conditioning. Right. People 100 years ago didn't know even what was air conditioning. That was one of the things I really liked about this house. I'm not a fan of the artificial air. I don't like artificial heat and I don't like artificial air conditioning. And then we have two other rooms here. Two other bedrooms. Yep, two other bedrooms. Great house for kids. So if you are into the country living. This is it. This is it. Yeah, you won't Actually, if you are even in city living, this is still it, <laughs> right? Because you, you may want to exchange your city living into country living. A little more privacy. Yes. A little more quiet. Yes. Oh, they're too cute. <laughs> That's very American. Tell you the truth. When I, big lawn, fire pit. when I watched movies about America before coming here, this is how I imagined America oh. was. <laughs> so this is like in the movies. I love it. Area is very desired. The schools are amazing here. School's good. So you're Edgar and next is Marathon, yes. right? So you're pretty much in that yep. area. Hi there. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs>